Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many have spent the last year anxious, angry, afraid. We all feel the fractured fault lines across our country. We hear the voices of Americans who are forgotten and feel forsaken. <laughs> Folks, it would, it would be easy to dismiss this past year as chaos, partisanship, as politics. But it's far, far bigger than that. This administration isn't just targeting the laws that protect us. They're targeting the very idea that we are all worthy of protection. For them, dignity isn't something you're born with, but something you measure by your net worth, your celebrity, your headlines, your crowd size. Their record is a rebuke to our highest American ideal, the belief that we are all worthy, that we are all equal, that we all count. In the eyes of our law and our leaders, our God and our government, that is the American promise. We are bombarded with one false choice after another. Coal miners or single moms? Rural communities or inner cities? The coast or the heartland? As if the mechanic in Pittsburgh, a teacher in Tulsa, and a daycare worker in Birmingham are bitter rivals, rather than mutual casualties of a system forcefully rigged towards those at the top. As if the parent who lies awake, terrified that their transgender son or daughter will be beaten and bullied at school is any more or less legitimate than a parent whose heart is shattered by a daughter in the grips of an opioid addiction. So here is the, dem is the answer that Democrats offer tonight. We choose both. Bullies may land a punch. They may leave a mark. But they have never, not once, in the history of our United States, managed to match the strength and spirit of a people united in defense of their future. Politicians. <laughs> Politicians can be cheered for the promises they make, our country will be judged by the promises we keep. The state of our union is hopeful, resilient, and enduring. God bless you. God bless your families. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.